So neurotransmitter can either depolarize or what's called hyperpolarize the neuron. Um, if it depolarizes the neuron when those, when the neurotransmitter opens, those ion channels, um, positive ions move into the neuron. If it hyperpolarizes the neuron, those ion channels um, house or they either, when they open, they either remove positive ions or they let um, a negative ion in. And you can see glutamate is the primary excitatory neurotransmitter that depolarizes neurons. And GABA is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter that hyperpolarizes neurons. Once the neurotransmitter is in the synapse, um, nature needs to get rid of it, needs to get out of there. So the most common thing that happens is that it's, it's, it's taken back up again and, and, um, by the terminal uh, button. Alternatively, sometimes it's broken down um, by enzymes, and there's an example with acetylcholine in your text uh, that you can read about. A thing to know is that um, receiving a, a, a depolarizing or hyperpolarizing signal from one neuron is not enough to either turn on or turn another neuron off. Um, action potentials do what's called summate, or this is also called neural integration of action potentials. So here you can see multiple positive signals summing together to then start, reach the threshold of depolarization. Here you can see both positive and negative hyperpolarizing signals, in which case no threshold will be reached um, in this neuron. Then one little last bit about the second fundamental concept. So remember this concept is that as neurons fire together, they wire together. So this process of a neuron releasing neurotransmitter and stimulating um, another neuron um, produces the likelihood or it increases the likelihood that the sequence events of events will happen again. And this is primarily what's happening um, with neural development across the lifespan. This is, and it's also called reorganization, neural reorganization, that neurons will stimulate each other because of, you know, something you're doing in your environment. So neurons that hadn't stimulated each other are now stimulating each other in some way, and so they're now more likely to be wired together. Um, or uh, connections are broken, and then they're less likely to be wired together. Um, so as we move through the different topics, for examples of this fundamental concept, look for the places where um, the description of the neurotransmitter that is being used in the, um, in the topic can be found. So what neurotransmitter is being used in what part of the brain, how does it work? Um, so examples of this fundamental concept will um, almost always involve um, neurotransmitter um, secretion across uh, different parts of the brain.